Gas prices are way too high. Putin, has got to die. Put a bullet in Putin's head. Yeah, that's what I said. Some might argue that white boys should probably never rap. But in the case <laughs> of Alex Stein, uh, someone who likes to engage in satire, he uh, did make this Plano, Texas city council meeting a lot more interesting. Now, um, he wanted people to think a little harder about what's going on in Ukraine through his satirical performance here, which I don't know if I really buy that, but nonetheless, fun. Let's watch. Zelensky is a VIP, Ukraine, and I go insane. Put a bullet in Putin's brain. You know that is the plan. I'm a Zelensky stand. I love you, Vladimir Zelensky. You are so smart. What's the smell? Did somebody fart? No way. What can you say? Fascinate me straight or gay. I love you, and I love to rhyme and grind all the time. And you got that sanitizer, and you know I got that Pfizer. You know I stick it in my vein. Put a bullet in Putin's brain. Do it for the Ukraine before I go insane. Gas prices way too high. Vladimir Putin needs to die. Gas prices way too high. For dinner. Okay. okay, okay. What I love about this, my favorite thing about all of it, awesome, is that <laughs> they didn't stop it because it's literally the most exciting thing that's ever happened at a city council <laughs> meeting in Plano, Texas. I mean, the town is called Plano. <laughs> Hey, okay. that was the most exciting thing that's ever happened in that town, period. Let alone at any city council meeting anywhere in America. Have you ever been to a city council meeting? Until the crazy Republicans started showing up, they were the dullest things in the world, right? So, hey, a lot of important matters get adjudicated during that's the city true. council meeting. That is meeting. to be fair. But it's to true. Be fair. It is true. You should get involved in local Both politics. Are Both are true. Both are true. Both are true. Okay. Uh, and the other reason is because at those city council meetings, everything is so bureaucratic. He had time left. So since his time hadn't run out, they gotta let him rap. Is that true? I think so, yeah. So they can't silence him? They can't turn Well, the if he was saying like, if he was threatening and doing and cursing like crazy. Like Republican moms at school board meetings? And even then they don't cut their mics, right. we've shown it, right? True, yes. So as long as he's not doing anything that is like over the top outrageous. And in there, he didn't really curse, he didn't do it like, he's just rapping, right? Yeah. He says, uh, Putin is a bad, racist, but put him in the ground. By the way, like obviously Putin's a bad guy. The calls to assassinate him make me very uncomfortable. Yeah, I hear you. So if that were to happen inside Russia, and because things like that do happen inside Russia, it is what it is. But we ain't got nothing to do with it. And we shouldn't encourage that kind of talk because if if anyone outside of Russia assassinates Putin, and then he becomes a martyr, and then it's an insanity, and it risks further war. So be careful what you wish for. Right. But back to fun, because this guy's just yeah. goofing around. And remember, again, I want to reiterate, it's satire. And I think he's referencing someone very specific here, and I'll get to that in a second. But back to the lyric, he says, Putin is a bad racist, put him in the ground, white or brown, when I'm in Plano. When I'm in Plano town, Zelensky is a VIP, Ukraine, and I go insane. Put a bullet in Putin's brain. You know that that's the plan. I'm a Zelensky stan. Do it for Ukraine before I go insane. Okay, so I think he's referring to Lindsey Graham because Lindsey Graham just put it out there on Twitter. Oh, uh, it's not. I think we know. Yeah, let's go to the tweet. You can go ahead and read it, Jake. There it is. Yeah. Is there a Brutus in Russia? Is there a more successful Colonel Stauffenberg in the Russian military? The only way this ends is for somebody in Russia to take this guy out. You would be doing your country and the world a great service. But not just that, but at the very end, this guy, once he was done rapping, said Lindsey Graham is right. So there's no question he was referencing Lindsey Graham. Oh, okay. Um, so then, you know, some are questioning does this do more harm than good? Um, so apparently, he's a sat satirist and he has this YouTube channel and uh, he does conspiracy theories on it that are ridiculous. Uh, Stein's channel, Conspiracy Corner, features videos about a bug-based diet, fun, 
child gender reassignment surgery, which isn't mm -hmm. a thing. Yeah, and not fun. Yeah, the occultic rituals of 9-11 and more. One of Stein's <laughs> shticks involves delivering satirical public comments at government meetings like we just viewed. So listen, I don't wanna get heavy and get into this guy's history and oh, did you know he did something bad? I guess, whatever, okay, I love that rap, <laughs> okay, so I pardon him, certainly for this rap. And, and I had a sense he was gonna throw down the jacket. And I swear to you as I'm watching, I'm like, throw it down, brother. Look. You got this, throw it down. And then when he threw it down, I was like, <laughs> yes, I knew it, I knew it, okay. And he had some moves there. You got, I mean, he's, you know, he's doing the Zeke, he's eating it, <laughs> okay, eating it up. I mean, <laughs> no, my finish. No, 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 I got, I, I gotta say something. Go, say it. The you woman, got in, to. the woman in the back. Yeah, she's loving it. She might leave with him. <laughs> she's stealing your wife. He's yeah. stealing your wife. Now, now, look, the guy is laughing at that point. The guy with the tie in the back. I okay. wouldn't be laughing, tie but guy. For, no, no, no. But for a long time, he wasn't. She look, was, look at his face. Look at his face. He's like, oh yeah. no, he's. He swerved oh, see, a little yeah, too he looks much. at her. You see the guy in the back looks at his girlfriend. Now he's nervous. Do you like what you see? Now do he's you, nervous because she like can't stop move? smiling. She can't stop smiling. Now the other guy's nervous. Okay. Oh, she's loving it. They're on a date right now. I'm telling you right now. Okay. It happened. Okay. It happened in a town named Plano. Okay. You can't say no, no. Okay. Here we go. No, no, I'm not gonna do it. All right. But he did miss one opportunity for a rhyme. He said Putin's got to die. And then started with put a bullet, and I thought put a bullet in his eye, and he didn't go there. I was very disappointed in that. Mm. But uh, Zelensky stand, <laughs> okay, win, win. <laughs> so thank you for lightening the mood a little bit, <laughs> right? And yeah. and making this a little bit more fun. I am not making a comment on any other thing that he has done. He is a known troll. I don't. I'm not advocating for it. <laughs> I don't sanction anything else because that's what people do. You know, like, yeah. like oh, that was a fun rap. Did you know that at another time he had done this? I, no. The, the thing is, though, some of his stunts, they're hilarious. But I think in today's political climate, it's easy to mistake it for sincerity, right? So I want to give you examples of other things he's done. Um, Stein, who said he wants to carry the torch of Andy Kaufman, uh, started going to in person and virtual community meetings when the pandemic began. He decided to prank meetings all over the United States virtually. In one recent video, he plays a concerned dad who tells school board members about how there's uh, there needs to be a terrarium in his daughter's classroom. Why? Because she identifies as a lizard. Uh, but this one, I think, I don't know. In, virtu in a virtual meeting on voting rights in the New York City Council, he pretends to be a guy with a mail order bride who is upset that his swindling wife now gets to vote in America. The council lets him speak for a while and then ultimately mutes him. I see that as something that could totally happen in real life. Yeah, and so I don't know if that's a reference to Trump and his immigrant wife. Uh, and, and obviously he's trolling the left on the earlier one, yeah. right? But he's a comedian, let him go. Let him go, okay? And so, uh, the, the, but Anna's right. The, the problem here is that Republicans are such a self parody that you don't know if he's kidding or serious about the conspiracy theories because a giant percentage of Republicans actually believe those conspiracy theories. Yeah. So when he goes out there and he says things, people are like, oh, yeah, oh, here's a Republican speaking, that makes sense. And he's, you know, in favor of this and that. So uh, that's the problem with parody these days. The Republicans have done it so well to themselves mm -hmm. that it's hard to outdo them. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.